Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stassi. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm so excited. I love hosting roundtables and today's roundtable is all dedicated to Cass. And I want to thank my two special guests here and returning guests as well. So thank you so much. I got the Disney Simmer and I got Alicia J. So thank you so much Hi. for coming back today. Happy to be here. <laughs> Oh my I'm god! Excited to be here. I'm excited to have you guys back. I love when people want to come back and talk to me. <laughs> to be honest, I oh think yeah, I so much. much, right? Um, especially like Dizzy Sims, like me and you have just become like best friends throughout since we've <laughs> done our interview. Because like I was like fangirling you before, but now you're just so precious, and I'm loving your CC stuff. Like Thank I'm just, you. you are just, you're just killing it. Like every time I turn around, I'm like, oh my god, that's so cool. If I needed you to make something custom for me. Got you, girl. <laughs> Aw, thanks, girl. Anyways, why don't we get this started off? Um, I know you guys are, are um, returning guests, but for anyone that this is their first uh, podcast listening to, why don't you introduce yourself? Wow. Disney Sims, why don't you start with yourself? Sure. I'm Court, a.k.a. The Disney Sims. You can find me on uh, Instagram and uh, TikTok now. I'm, I'm not a big deal yet on TikTok. Just hit 2K on on the Insta. Yay. Um, thank you. And yeah, I create um, stories and I uh, recreate Disney characters on my uh, Insta platform and uh, TikTok platform. And I absolutely love it. So I'm always trying to imitate uh, Disney animated characters and Pixar related characters. So it's, it's really fun. I like doing that. And I am obsessed with following CAS artists as well. So although I don't think I'm necessarily an expert in CAS, I have a lot of friends who are, and I would love to shout them out during this meeting. <laughs> yes, no, absolutely. Uh, Alicia J, how about you? Why don't you tell us a little about yourself and your Sims history? Well, I have I actually have two um Sims account, which one of them is called um is Alicia J Sims. And in that account, I'm actually creating a story about my family background. Um, like my friend says, I it's like a telenovela, my family background. So I'm like, hey, why why might as well not express the story in um within the Sims? Then I have another account. Which, by the way, the Disney Sims, I love your work. Like, I'm Thank a you. follower. So, and they actually gave me the idea for this, uh, my other account. I know a lot of people know um, the Fantasy Royal Family. So I have a Fantasy Royal Family series where they have werewolves, vampires, and all, all fantasy-based mm -hmm. stuff. So I actually am working on a series and, like, being in part of the Fantasy Royal Family is doing, like, Disney princess, but, like, the Brother Grimm, Grimm style. Ooh, love so it very, yeah like so it's like very like a little bit dark but like can I try to mix both on both sides I haven't put it out yet because I'm working on other things but you did inspire me in doing that so thank you very much thank you and I I love dark too I am not all sunshine and rainbows as uh we've discussed before so no, I love that. And I think that's like the best thing apart of this community is we could we can inspire one another. But now I get yeah. people being like, you guys and like like Stoss, like you inspired me to start my own story. The the first time I ever got that message, I bawled my eyes oh. out. I was like, because <sighs> that's all I wanted. I wanted to to show that like you can do it. And even if it's at your own pace, like if you have a passion project that you want to share go ahead and do it and don't let anyone stop you. Just, just go do it. And if people say this sucks, then keep going because as long as you are enjoying it, that's all that matters. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Oh, thank you. Well, anyways, why don't we get this started? Um, so let's talk about Cass. Um, Cass is very interesting because um, a lot of people say it's the, it's easier to building. Other people say it's harder than building. I would love to hear your aspect on cast. Do you find it easy or hard? Ooh, Alicia, That's you want to go first? Question. Yeah. You could go first. Okay. Um, well, I am an architectural drafter by trade, so I do find building a little bit easier, although I don't showcase my work um, in build by because I 
a perfectionist and I don't end up actually finishing landscape because I don't like it. So I don't end up sharing those, but I do find it easier, especially because I have 3D modeling background and everything. Um, when COVID happened and I started uh, just being laid off and bored, I started recreating like my family members and stuff and started trying to make them in CAS, uh, CAS, sorry, I, I always call Yes. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I started doing that. And then when I was just creating some Disney characters for fun and we were playing around with them one day, I ended up deciding to do it. And I wanted to do it in chronological order from when the movies were released. And so I started out creating the princesses. And then I started to be like, okay, well, when I sh actually showcase this on Instagram, I want to showcase the households as well. So I'd have to go in and do uh, the household characters within the series. And so I'd go in and I would like get close ups of their face going in, looking at images of them trying to find like a, you know, straight on face image. So that way I could try to mimic as much as possible. I'd even have, so with build building, I was always off doing my own thing and I love it. And it's definitely, I mean, I'm not even sure if it's more time consuming. Sometimes I go into so many details with uh cast that it does take just as long especially when I have like I'll bring my brother over who's also like really creative and I'm like oh is, is uh this face accurate and he's like oh like move their cheek up a little bit more and like everything so I do feel like CAS um cast can be more difficult um and to get it right and there are certain characters within like the Disney's for example like Meg from Hercules the Sims does not allow me to make like her eyebrows or anything the way that like Meg looks in the movie so I found Meg almost impossible to make but then there's other characters like for example I find Pixar characters like Merida are super easy to to do in in CAS so it really depends uh but yeah I, I do think that they can both have different kinds of hard um and coming from both worlds it, I would say it's pretty much like not 50 50 but like hardness here hardness there that's my opinion <laughs> No, that, I mean, that's, that's a really good opinion. I, it's, di it's difficult because I would always say I was a builder. Now I'm Cass and I find Cass a breeze. I can have a, I can have a uh, sim made in like two hours. And as we were talking this morning, I'm like 30 minutes in this morning and I'm just discussing the tables. Right. So like, I feel <laughs> yeah. like it, it can be different, but Alicia J, I definitely want to hear your opinions. Do you find cast easy or harder than building? I agree with everything what the Disney Sim said. Um, I just think that one thing that makes it easier for me in creating Sims, um, is when you do the genetics, Especially when like you you mix to like the mom and dad and then like you see like oh my god you look so pretty you're so cute and I think the hard part is like when you're, you're trying to create stories and then like you're trying to match the outfits to the story that's what makes it hard because I have like certain stories that's based on medieval time and trying to get like the um clothing even like trying to get built stuff like there's not a lot of like build stuff items that you could download and put cc's in the in your game to make it more medieval so yeah, i feel like there could be a balance where like in in both pop and builds and, and building cast like it kind of pros and cons of what makes it difficult and what can make it easier i i totally agree which actually kind of leads me to my next question that everybody has the same universal opinion even builders you need cc for cast um, yes, without a doubt, uh, my heart goes out to console players who can't do that. Yeah. I don't know how. What is your favorite CC to download forecast? Ooh, oh, that's a good question. Yeah, that is. Um, woo. I mean, I definitely think like I get outfits and stuff based on um, a lot of the content creators. Um, a lot of, I can't name a lot of the details that I end up getting because I get it from the Sims resource and I like go on a major shopping spree. <laughs> 
Um, but I definitely find like getting like the highlights and shades and everything to the face. And mind you, I'm in a bit of a different world because I'm mostly cartoon based. If you think of someone like Ragdoll, who uh, puts on screens and masks and everything on top of the CC that they use, like that is like a whole other ball game right and but like ragdoll's whole focus is to have like realistic looking like identical to and I, like i mean i'm sure we have plenty of uh cast superstars out there but she's definitely up there for being able to create the most realistic sims in the game so like i know she uses even more details than i do with using screens and masks that she uses so there's if it depends on what type of sim you want to make if you're yeah. you know making something more cartoonish you know a lot of the maxis match type items are are great to use but if you're trying to go more realistic like you have to like download those other items to really get that. I also like notice a lot of people are even getting like shades. So like you'll have like a different shade on like this side of your nose or this side of your nose, depending on how you're angling the sim. So even like for a picture, you have to go in and edit those details so that your shading is like perfect for an image. There's so many components to getting the perfect shot um, or video for the footage that you're releasing to the public. So yeah, no, yeah, I, I agree. I, I totally agree. Like, Alicia, what about you? What's your favorite type of CC to download? Um, I will say, like, oh, I think hair. Like, the oh, hair, yeah. like, the different. Because I feel like, like, in the actual game, they don't really have, like, enough, like, different styles of hair. And, like, usually the, what makes a sim for me is, like, how the hair is styled. And um, I actually have a favorite... Um, CC creator. Her name is Natalia Adorter. Adorter. Yeah. I don't yeah, know yeah. if I, I said her name right. Like yes. I, I have her. Um, she's one of my favorites because like uh, since like for example, the fantasy world family is based on medieval time. She has a lot of stuff that could go with the storyline. Like she recently created. Um, oh, another CC creator I like is Morel. Morel. M O R S I E L. Because they they both create like a lot of, like man. I think Morel created recently. Um these hands that are magical that you could use like as lamp and stuff so like I was like oh that's awesome I could use like that chasing my sim or something I don't know it would be so much fun yeah so but I'll say like the top things that I like to download will probably be like hair because they're just so hard to 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 find yeah. And it makes the character, right? Like yes. it really, like it sets the tone for the rest of the face and everything. I did forget to mention some of my um, artists that I love to download from. So like I'm on Patreon for Aretha Bezos and Miko CC. They oh, have, yeah. it's so complimenting to my Sims mm -hmm. how their uh, aesthetic looks. So I absolutely love downloading from them. I will be Patreon uh, early access for them for life. <laughs> <laughs> No, and I think that's great. I think that's, I think that is something that I want to like share light to these CC creators that literally make cast better. There's a whole team yes. dedicated at EA and they're not even in the same realm as what these CC creators are creating. And yeah. which leads me to say, do you think in Sims 5, do you think that cast will get the upgrade it so truly deserves? Or do you think that they're just going to keep phoning it in? I don't think so. I don't feel like, I don't think so. Because like the, the, right now the Sims 4 is evolving. They keep adding new things to it. And then we already have like CCs for that. I feel like if the Sims 5 was going to come out like next year, it's going to be a while before like CC creators are going to catch up because, and and, and, there, and at one point they were talking about like, it's going to be a multi-system or, or multi-person game. And it's like, I don't know how I'll see like downloading CC and making it into like a multi-person type of system. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't really think that, I feel like we're probably going to be stuck with the Sims 4. Like once in the Sims 5, if the Sims 5 comes out, we'll probably be stuck with the Sims 4 for a little bit before we actually move towards Sims 5. That happened with me with Sims 3. I definitely stayed on playing Sims 3 until I felt like uh, enough within the, I downloaded the Sims 4 or sorry, purchased it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I really waited for things to catch up before I started to move over to the Sims 4 altogether. And even then I was pretty disappointed because there were so many benefits to the Sims 3. I loved being able to like pick different patterns at a whim 
Um, and having the free world and everything was so awesome. And, and to lose that really sucked. And so I eventually made the move. I'm sure we will with the Sims five, um, as well. I can't remember if they were saying this would be something they were looking at doing for the Sims four or the Sims five, but they were saying like, you would be able to download an image and that image would like populate into CAS. Like if you, or if you put somebody's, uh, like face in there. It would, oh. Yeah, oh. I'm not sure. I'm, yeah. I think it was Sims 5. Wow. I feel Is like it? there's no way Sims, I mean, they just fixed the wedding pack yesterday. There's no way that Sims, the Sims 4 team was like, let's let's add that in there, you know, yeah. without it breaking. Yeah, oh, that would wow. be interesting to see though. It would be cool to just like download a picture of yourself and then create a Sim. Although I don't know how offended I would be. <laughs> I'd be like, my face doesn't look like that. <laughs> or especially if it's like a woman with boobs, you have like half your head up here and then the other half. <laughs> oh no. Or like, it would just be like super spreaded. It's kind of yeah. now thinking of like the Simpsons episode where Homer buys the shirt for Marge and her face is all like, like stretched out. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. It makes God, it just goes, oh my God. Um, Oh, Sims team love to hate them. I feel like that's the whole point of the Sims. We love to hate the Sims. It's a game that we love, but at the same time, we love to hate it. Um, okay. So when it comes to cast, what is your favorite item that EA has provided you without having CC for cast? Oh, hmm. I think I'll go last for this one. I'm trying to have to think about this. Um, I loved when nails and toenails came into the mix. That was awesome. It wasn't fun because I had already had all my create our characters created. So I had to go in individually and have <laughs> nails. And then they were all like color based for the most part. And so I was like, when's this fr- French manicure coming in? I was like, that's what I want for my sis. Right. Another thing that oh sorry. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, another thing that I love that they incorporated like a few years in, in was uh, that like highlight that you can do in your eyes and your nose and like on your cheeks and stuff to give like that highlighter definition. So like really elevating makeup was also uh, great. So I liked that as well. Yeah. Alicia, how about you? I don't know. I feel like this is a hard question because I feel like I feel like every time they bring something out, like I'm not satisfied and I always have to download CCs. Like I just don't feel satisfied. I think the only, I agree with the Disney Sims. Like, like I think the only thing that kind of got me excited was the nails. Like when they came in with the manicure and pedicure, because like I always had to download like the, the pedicure and, and manicure so like I can make the Sims at least, at least look more natural. But even with that, like, it, I just feel like more, I still feel like not like it's not enough. Like I still have to I feel like I still have to download stuff just so I can feel good about using C. Yes. Using Why aren't eyelashes a thing? <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> Why can't we have like ombre hair that's not chunky? You know? Oh, yes. Oh, some of those hairs are disastrous. Oh, oh, my God. <sighs> I have to agree. The nails are definitely a game changer. I wish, I wish for lashes. Um, I also wish again for better hair. I think I would be excited if there was like a hairdresser kit and it was like, you could actually Ooh. like do your hair. That would be nice. And you could actually yeah. take them to the salon. And so they could have that like beauty day experience. I just kind of felt like the nails should have been, ha- like it should have just been part of it already. I definitely I, don't, I, it's, yeah. I think I feel like that's EA's thing they're like we are putting nails in as CC creator has have been doing it for years Ever. now mm-hmm. when it comes to CC I didn't know how bad this was until I started Rose Chronicles males uh Cass is horrendous and you need to have CC for males what do you think EA is missing when it comes to male cast Ooh. I just think they need they needs to be more fashionable. Like I don't know. I just feel like it's not like like compared to the but it's not only even that. Like even with C downloading CCs, like I feel like I can't I find more girl outfits or female outfits than guy outfits. And especially mm-hmm. like the stories that I've been trying to do is like, well, I have like it's funny. If you were to go on my computer, you'll see like 
thousands and thousands of girl stuff and I'm like, oh, I need a guy and then I can't find anything. But I think they, I feel like EA needs to bring like more fashionable items for males because I don't feel like they have enough for males compared to females. Yes. So what did you feel about the modern male kit then? The modern nail kit? No, male. The modern, like the knitwear that came out in September because that was dedicated for men and it was modern. Um... Actually, I don't remember, to be honest. So I, I don't think I can answer that question because I don't remember how it looks like. Um, but again, I'm very obsessed with medi- medi- medieval time stuff. And I've been so focused on that that I haven't started moving towards like the modern outfits and stuff. But I noticed like when I will play without the CCs and then like I had to look through like male outfits compared to male female outfits, mm-hmm. I just feel like it wasn't as fashionable as female outfits. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I, I, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to fully blame um, EA for that either, because I feel like I personally just don't put a focus into my male characters as much. I'll like have all of the like you know five outfits you can have for each um, you know type of wear for my girls, and I have to always adjust them because I want them to have a different outfit. I can't have them having the same outfit uh, yeah. multiple times throughout my story. Yeah. Whereas like with the guys, I'll like realize that I had them in like the same outfits over and over. Again, so like I'm always trying to do a better job. I will say for medieval uh CC Bats of Westeros does a really good job Ooh, with uh thank yeah, you. They, yeah, they do a great job with uh medieval where I actually use some of those because I'm making some of my series royal uh because I am going to focus on some of my Disney um royal characters and as they graduate from university, they'll be going and doing their royal roles. And so I wanted to get some of those outfits. So I would say go check them out. You'll And they have really Thank good you. male CC. Uh, so I love that too. I also love, um, like I've, I've downloaded these like layovers from different creators, Miko also being one of them, where like they highlight like the male details on their body and stuff. And so like the ab definition if they have it or like not even that but like collarbone or like adam's apple like yeah. definitions or like the jaw lines like there, there's a lot of stuff out there but it, it's definitely not compared to girls but also like ea knows their demographic it is you know it girls, is a lot of girls yeah. are, are playing the game and so they're trying to make as much money as possible so they, that's they do true. that that's always going to be their their uh their focus <laughs> Oh, I, I totally agree. Do you know what I wish? And I didn't even think about it till like the other day. In Sims 3, you had the ability to have male body hair. Yes. Oh, and then, right. oh. Yes. And then in Sims 4, you don't have that. And I'm like, yeah. why are all these men fucking no hair? Like, it's I know. So, like, I'm building this like very like manly man with no hair on his chest. I, to me, that just feels... I have to download male hair. Right? I just, I don't, yeah. I, I don't, like... Of my existence, I don't know if I can download male hair CC. I feel like at that point, society has like it's crazy at that point. But like, why can't that just be a thing that it we have? Be. And I, I even think of that, right? And honestly, like most of like like Oliver and Rose Chronicles wears the same outfit because I don't have anything else. I'm like, I can. I'm like, he's not wearing jeans. Like what the fuck, you got jeans, dress pants, and shorts. That's kind of really, and it's just the same pair of dress pants, but just in different packs with different <laughs> colors. But it's the same style. Where women, yeah. like girls, like um, it was a couple weeks ago. Now I I was do, I was getting Emily ready for her to go out for dinner for Rose Carlos. Forty five minutes later, and I didn't even realize I was taking myself that long. I'm like okay, what do you wear when you're going out for dinner, but it's fancy, but it's not fancy. And you're just like, you know, seeing somebody that you maybe you don't want to see. And you're just like, I'm sitting there. I'm like, well, like, you wouldn't wear that. That's too formal. And then I was <laughs> looking at like all like the, like the EA dresses that are provided. I was like, oh God, these are terrible. Uh, like, it's just like, I feel like that's the, I look at EA, like, yeah, like Oliver's hair with the ponytail. I'm pretty sure that's female hair. Like I'm pretty confident 
I honestly, I just use female hair for male castle. I literally I do just, that all of the time. Yes, yeah. I just, I just turn off uh, masculine or feminine and I'm just like, whatever, like the Rose Chronicles jackets. Those are the women's jackets from realm of magic. Cause if you slightly nice. look, the design has automatic boobs in there. So I have to go in and flatten oh. the chest when they wear it because again, EA set it up for women. So they set this for it to have yeah. the boob area where I wish that would be the case that it wouldn't like if it was like feminine uh, yeah. uh, cast items that it would just show up on males correctly. Yeah, um, if definitely. that makes sense, like, especially yeah. with people that are not like like now that EA is becoming a little bit more inclusive, especially with people that um you know are non-binary or even any, anyone in the trans community, I'm sure they would like to have that like that swoop like that 100%. swift transition of having instead of being like oh well you can tell that this is a woman's shirt because it has the curves for it. instead of it just yeah. showing up. I think that's something that I would definitely like to see. Um, with Sims 5. Now, when I had my builders round table, we, we discussed in length that we feel that there have been a lot of cast uh, kits and packs to come out recently and we wanted a builder one and then we got the builder building to the max kit and that was something. Um, <laughs> I was so disappointed. Like, I was just like, it's like, why is the rose... Uh, patterned wallpaper bigger than the sims head why is it so tight and everyone's like it's so tacky i love it i know this is a cast one but i have to ask with this new kit did you guys download it did you like it oh uh, i haven't have downloaded i don't the only build kit that i downloaded was the one um that has like an um a moroccan field Oh, um, Oasis. Yeah. Oasis. Yes. I only downloaded that one because it kind of connected to the storyline that I'm trying to do with ah. like Aladdin and Jasmine and stuff and like more of like the like African or like Arabian type of royal family that I'm trying yes. to do. But other than that, like I'm not really into a lot of like the build mm -hmm. kits. I, I was more into like the cast kits. That's fair. Uh, the Disney Sim, how about you? Did you get the last kit? Oh, yeah. I, I, I always I get every pack because I'm obsessed. And <laughs> the, speaking of um, like Arabic tie-ins, there's a tiger wallpaper that I'm like excited to use for Jasmine's house whenever <laughs> that happens. That would be so cute. Yeah, I loved that. I try to incorporate some tiger-based things for her. She has a pet tiger in my game, so... <laughs> How do you have a pet tiger out of curiosity? Yeah, actually, that's a really good point. So uh, hardest thing for me to recreate are the freaking pets. Like I turned like a boo from a cat. Um, I wow. made Raj out of a dog. Uh, I've made a stitch out of a bulldog. Um, like, yeah, I always like, so wow. I, I start off with like a certain character uh, or sorry, certain like breed of animal. And then I try and transform them. Oh, a dog I into, uh, oh, is Dijali? Is that uh, Esmeralda's goat? Oh, so, yeah, like, oh, like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I like, because I'm always trying to recreate the households, if they have pets, I try to uh, include it. Uh, one of the other things I did was uh, for Pascal and Bruni um, from Frozen and Rapunzel. I just uh, like took black dogs and then I put like the chameleon like onesie outfit <laughs> that they have. so that like their face like it is just like like it's like just black in there and like you don't really notice that you just notice the costume that they have on so that they look like geckos or whatever. Chameleon. That's wow. amazing. I, I never think of pets. I never play with pets. I just made a pet in Rose Chronicles. And I was just like, generic cat is possible. <laughs> um, the most I've ever done is I tried to recreate Scooby-Doo and so has everybody else if you've ever watched Scooby-Doo and like The Sims because there's so many <laughs> Scooby-Doo uh, dogs. Yeah. Um, okay, Dizzy Sims, I gotta ask this. What is the tip and trick to get cast for pets correctly. Oh, sorry, you broke up. What did you say? Oh, for cast. What's the what's the best tips and tricks for cast for pets? Like, what do you oh, use? Oh no, 
Um, I think she reason. said that one of the tips and tricks for Cass. Is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, basically, I have my two screens up and I have an image of what I want to make right beside it. I'll even like bring it in and like try to like do half and half on a screen if I'm like really not able to get it. I do think having a drafter's eye probably helps me because I am obsessed with details. So like I'll zoom right into like their eye and their face and I'll have like that same image like blown up and I'm trying to imitate that as, as much as possible. Sometimes I get so into it though that like I have to like take a break and like revisit it and move on to another character. So it, it depends. But yeah, animals are definitely hard uh, hard to do. <laughs> uh, but uh, some of the other characters are are hard to do as well, especially if you like want to get them right. And even like Googling and like going on like for Disney, there's like Disney Wikipedia. So like you're going in and being like, what's their eye color and stuff. I actually messed up with uh, Sleeping Beauty Aurora's eye color. When I originally Googled it, I saw it like, because in the old movie, her eyes are just black because they weren't doing eye color at the time of when that movie oh. got released. But like when you go in and you look at like, uh, like, what's it called? Wreck-It Ralph's version of the Disney um, characters. You can see that she has blue eyes, but then when I looked in further, apparently she has purple eyes. So now I like have this whole, I'm um, three seasons into a story where uh, Briar has brown eyes and I'm like, oh, I wish I had given her purple eyes from the get-go because how cool would that have looked? Oh yeah. Uh, right? So like, I regret not doing that, but like um, my first uh, attempt at recreating Disney characters. I did base game only, and I didn't do any CC as part of like a challenge I was holding myself to, which was so limiting, so limiting. <laughs> uh, it's really nice to have the CC that I'm releasing now. It's a lot more fun because you can make it way more realistic to what they look like. They don't make long hair at all for, for female characters. Like I'm pretty sure like the longest yeah. hair we get naturally in uh in the game is like it's not longer than my actual hair yeah i would say like maybe about here yeah. about, yeah, about that I'm like pretty sure that's like the longest they do oh actually there's like that big curly hair that goes a little bit longer that i use for merida but that's like that's about it um they, you have to really go get like cc to get longer hair and most of the yep. Disney characters who fit that Disney mold do have longer hair. They're making some changes to that now, which is exciting to see because it it is nice not like to break the mold is mm -hmm. awesome. So it, it's nice to see that too. Like I loved with Mirabelle, like she has like the short curly hair. She looks so cute, but yeah, like mm -hmm. even then it was impossible to find like bait, not, well, not just base game, but like, you know, pack based uh content to imitate her i had to go in and find uh content to have actual curly hair for her mm -hmm. which makes me sad that like we have to go outside the game to be able to create just a, a like a general normal looking person it's just not everything's just there and i think that's something i hope the ea yeah uh definitely um Fixes. Um, Alicia, have you had any experience uh, working in cats with pets and any with wisdom pets? you'd like to share? Yeah, with cats or dogs, raccoons. I, you know, honestly, like it's funny because I don't really think of pets because I think the only time I used a pet was for Jasmine though, in my project that I'm trying to work on is for Jasmine and Aladdin. But even with that, like I like to do like um, I do scenes for my Instagram page. And like, I don't really add the animals because they don't really have a lot of like um, CCs for animals for like for pose so that you could do the storyline. So I, th that's part of the reason why I don't focus a lot on animals for that reason. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't really feel like and, and usually for like when I create a sim, I usually for like the animals, like if I want to download a tiger or a lion or a specific animal, I usually go to the Sims gallery and I download it from there from other creators because I don't think I'm very good at like actually creating the Sims to the way I want it. So I usually play with genetics. Like I, I literally downloaded um, Penelope Cruz with like another famous person and I put the genetics together. I'm like, oh my God, you look so cute. I'm going to use this, use you for my story. You're so adorable. And then I dress them up and add the other CCs to it. 
Um, so yeah, like that's, that's what I do to create some of the sims that I have. You know what I do love is when people, this has happened in the Rose Chronicles. I've mentioned this to Jen before, um, that, uh, so you, when you create a character and you don't intend for them to look like someone, but they do. So like yeah. Stassi's, um, Tiana to me looks identical to Sarah Paulson. Like I can't <laughs> unsee that. Like every time Tiana's in the Rose Chronicles, I'm just like, oh, it's Sarah Paulson. <laughs> like if you ever do a real life, like if this becomes a movie ever, you have to cast her. Like there's I no would other for sure cast that role. Well, you're going to, as <laughs> That's funny. Uh, that's, that's pretty weird. funny. That I just took my best friend's face and was just like, let's go. You know, it's actually super funny on that theme. So uh, there's a couple of chapters coming ahead in the Rose Chronicles. I would say in like chapter 50 to 50 to 60 and that range. Um, I had just created my Robert Pattinson and Zoe Kravitz for Ooh. my Batman release because I was I'm obsessed with Batman best Batman movie I've ever seen so I put them in the Rose Chronicles like I was just they're just students I I honestly if I create sims they're there like that's just kind of like how I do it now but yeah I know I I love that I actually I told Tristan that and she was so uh she was like oh my god really I'm like yeah girl you look like Sarah Paulson the fucking queen um yes that oh, American Horror Story is amazing oh, I love American Horror Story me too yeah um <laughs> like I, I got a couple more questions and then I'll let you ladies go on your way when it comes to cast now what pack or kit do you think is the best for cast Ooh, that's mm. a good question that is a good question. Ah, oh, I really loved when uh, Island Living came out. I really loved uh, like the hair and stuff that came with that. Um, so Island Living was definitely one. I loved Windenburg. So what uh, get together? Mm -hmm. um, I felt like a lot of uh, items came out when that pack got released too. And like I felt like I think the first like like cool colored hair actually maybe that was get famous i'm not i'm having a hard time recalling but yeah some of those are definitely up there for me when those packs came out the the ca or the cast items that came with it i really enjoyed i like that i think, I, I agree i like the um i didn't live in but i also like the vampire pack yes they, they got like the leather jacket like the corset yes I was like, and the magical like, outfits. Yeah, yes. you're oh, right. and Realm of Magic. Good. Yes, Realm of Magic. Yes. Like that's the, their their outfits, like combined with both, but like you could make like a like a goth hot goth girl or like a hot goth guy, and then it could be to get. Oh my gosh, it's just it's yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. I will say, wedding stories got a lot of a uh, warranted criticism for sure, especially in gameplay. But the CA, the cast items that came from oh, wedding yeah, stories yeah. were were legit. Like I liked those, like the hair, the dresses, mm -hmm. like everything that came, the makeup. Like there were a lot of really good things that came out of that pack in terms of cast. And I like how they made it multicultural because they had like um Indian yes, style and they right. made it very cultural. So I can't I can't wait to use it. I haven't used it yet, but it's so beautiful. Yeah. So true. Which leads me to a another question. Um, we are now seeing that Sims are starting to release other kits of different nationalities, specific specifically for clothing. What type of cast ethnic kit are you hoping for? Ooh, I would love more African-based ones. I still don't think they completely have that uh, down yet. So I would say that's a, a good one. And then I agree. I, I agree. Everybody is I screaming agree. for Africa pack. I, I I would love that. I'd love an African world. I'd love an African pack. Yes. I don't want another yes. Western world. I'm sorry. Yeah. There's too fucking many of them. I, I think they should more make culture. more. They should make like they should focus now that they have um Komoribi, right? Did I say that? I don't know. Yeah, Komoribi or Komoribi yeah, or, Com yeah, Com yeah. or something. They have that. They should make like I think um Sala Tavara isn't that supposed to be based as like a Hispanic one, like a Hispanic vacation world or something? Like, yeah. I feel like they should make like more multi, like you said, like more multicultural worlds, and then like create like a set of outfits connected yeah. to the world and I feel like African style like 
even with like my royal family, there's a royal family that's supposed to be based like on an African, which my husband helped me create the African royal family. Um, and like they don't really have a lot of like African like clothing no. stars. Not even like not even CC creators. There's not a lot of CC creator that makes a lot of like hair African hairstyle or even African outfits. I think that like especially in medieval time style, right? Like, yeah. Like, medieval, like, how did it look like for an, Af- an African royal family? Like, how would it look like if they were to dress up? I always think about, like, um Black Panther. Like, I feel like if it was to be, like, a magical family, African family, royal family, that would be, like, a Black Panther theme. Mm-hmm. With, like, Wouldn't that be style. awesome if yes. they did that? I want to oh, create that. Would be that. So like, cool. I want to create that, but they don't have, like, so many, like... They did it with that, too. It would be so cool if they, like, made something that was, like, Black Panther themed. People would go nuts over that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, I agree. Yes. No, I totally agree. Again... EA, I know you never listen to these things, but if you do listen to this, that's what we want. We want more diversity. We want an African bag, and especially if it's Black yes. Panther, because they could also take- a place to put my Encanto characters. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. that'll be cute. Oh my god! So I, I ended up, I watched Encanto with when my best friend came. I loved it. I loved the music. I and knew you would. I yes. knew you would. I, if you like Hamilton, it made me cry. Yes, I'm gonna be <laughs> honest. Encanto made me cry. I cried. Oh. Uh, Yes. yes. It reminds yeah. me so much of my family culture because we're Dominican and I feel like it triggered a lot in my regarding my family that I just like I just started crying. I was, I was like, why are you crying? I'm like, you don't understand. I just I got triggered. Be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. I just it's so emotional. I can't. Right. Um, no, it, I think that's what I'm liking about Disney movies. Now I have to ask this. Have anybody has have you guys seen turning red? The last Disney movie to come out. Oh yes, oh, I, I haven't. No. I haven't Canada. watched. It. I know. I'm like, I haven't watched it. It's on my list of movies to watch when my girlfriends come down. I'm like, they they made it Tim Hortons and they made yeah. Timbits. Like I somebody know. in the Pixar had to like make a Tim Hortons Timbit. I, I just, know. I'm just so disappointed that people are boycotting it because they're talking about girls getting their periods. I would have shit my pants if there was something like that. Instead of watching those horrendously scary videos you watch in school about what it's like when you, you know, get your special flower. Like, Uh, yeah. (laughs) It's like, it's not like that. It's It's, definitely more like that red panda. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. No, I'm very excited. I'm like, oh, I'm like, wait till you see it. The analogy is like, it's so well done. Like, yeah, I think anybody who's like dismissing it for those reasons didn't actually watch it and I loved that they like there's like a lot of people don't know this like when you think of Canada but Canada's such a diverse especially if you go to Ontario like and they focus in turning red on like the Chinatown area mm-hmm. within there and it's uh it's really cool that uh they're like it's it's focused on Canada but it's also focused on like an immigrant family within Canada and that's so like that's so overlooked sometimes and that's so common here like when like I went to high school and like my school is so diverse now I'm from the city I do find as you go on the outskirts you have like you know the older families that you know it, it tends to not be as diverse but it's like it was so nice to see that representation there and not just be like a stereotypical like Canadian, like a, like <laughs> it's not what Canada is about. So I, I totally agree. Cause as soon as I saw that, that was in Chinatown. I was like, Oh my God. Cause like I've been to Chinatown. I'm like, that is exactly like that. Like that's what, one of the reasons I love about Toronto. Like there's a little Greek ah. town, there's Chinatown, there's Korea town. And it's just so diverse. Like thinking back at it, like my class, it was pretty diverse, like always growing yeah. up. Yeah. which I was like looking back at it like um, that's why I have a hard time and like especially when the generation ahead of us may speak some unfavorable comments I don't understand it because they didn't have that diversity a growing up where we yeah had it. and now the generation below us has it even more with people that are non-binary or transgender or anything like that my niece who's 16 doesn't like flash an eye when she sees a same-sex couple in high school oh. where for me there was no same-sex couples in high school and my parents that was a 
you you went away if you were a same sex couple. So I'm I can't wait to see what the next generation will be more accepting of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, anyways, one final question. Who um uh, who inspires you the most when it comes to cast? I know we've talked about some other ones, but what got you started being like, I can do cast? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I, st- I still don't feel like I got it sometimes, but I mean, a, a lot of people tell me I do. So I'm like, okay, I, I guess I'm doing something right. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think um, watching people like uh, uh, the Sim Stash and people recreating a townies and giving them like a different, uh, different like look to what they originally looked like, like really inspired me to start doing my own uh, just for fun. And then when I started seeing all of these pages coming up and like the, the community really picking up, I was like, why not me? Why, why can't like, yeah, why can't I be in this community? And it was so nice because like in the real world, like if I talk about like the Sims, most people are like, like, I mean, my husband is like, you know, a sweetheart about me going off about things I'm excited about, but it's not the same as talking to Stassi about it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yes. it's, it's different. You know what I mean? It's like, like, and like to have people like in your community like that, that you can like geek out and fangirl over these things. Like it, it's really cool because you don't necessarily have that in the real world. And so it really just opened me up to a community and I kept making content because I like being part of that community. And when I ran out of the princesses, I decided to, you know, uh, change directions and, and do different things. And just my, yeah, my page has grown and grown since then because I like being in the community and I'm inspired to create different things with like based on who I'm, you know, following and friends with. It's really cool. So, yeah, I would say I love that the most for sure. Well, it's win win, right? Like it's a hundred percent. At the end of the day, like I follow a lot of people who do Disney things. I would never be jealous about that because it's like we. It all helps us all. Like if I, you know, show off somebody else's Disney um, thing on my page like my followers are going to be like, Oh, I want to follow this person. This person's also doing cool things. And then it's like vice versa. And it just creates a bigger community and a bigger platform um, to talk about stuff that you're passionate about. Oh my gosh. I totally, I totally agree. And I say Disney says your cast is amazing. I love seeing all your sense because I know exactly who they are. I'm like, they're so so well done like they look they look like the disney princess and princesses you you always do such an amazing job um alicia j how about you uh what inspired you to start cast um i think is mara ray from her royal family <gasps> series like oh, i think like I, I first started what like when i first was you know i think it was a few years ago i don't know how long ago I was watching, I was looking up some stuff and do YouTube and then she popped up. I'm like, interested. Let me look into this. And then after I saw her, like I started noticing that there was other people like using the Sims as like creating stories. I'm like, well, you can do this. Like, this is interesting. So then like after seeing a few of those, then I'm like, hey, why are I, 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 why can't I try? Let me, let me just try it. So then like, after a year of like experimenting and looking into things and follow, trying to reach out to people, it's like, I just started getting into it. And now like, I, I'm stuck. Like I can't stop creating. Like it's like my mind speeds up of like stories after story, thoughts after thoughts of like what I want to do and what I want to create. And then it just became an obsession. So thank you, Mary Ray, for the yes. inspiration. She's like one of the first five people that I started following on uh, Insta, but she was, I was following her on YouTube way before then, like back when her, like one of her main characters was a mirror and she had a, a sister um, who passed away and like, it was devastating. Anyway, oh yeah, now, Maya, she, Maya uh, something I think. Uh, uh, Alice, uh, oh no, uh, May, 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 yeah. May, May, yeah. Her May. mom, her mom was. Al- oh, anyway, we we'll, we have to geek out of this after after this. We need to talk about this after. <laughs> I could talk about Mira Ray Royals forever. I love her. 
<laughs> no, that's awesome. Um, anyways, I want to say ladies, thank you so much for coming here today. Thank you so much for coming back. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure. Uh, I love talking to both of you and I love that you, you know, thank you for sharing every, your cast experiences with us. Um, why do you let everybody know where we can find your stuff? If, if you want, you could go first and I'll go last. Why, thank you. Uh, so yes, I, I have mentioned this at the beginning, but I'll uh, plug again at the Disney Sims on TikTok and Instagram. I love it. And Alicia J, how about you? And uh, you could find me in fantasy underscore royal underscore family. Um, and my second Instagram is Alicia J Sims. Love it. Um, you guys know me. I'm Stassi. I host these things. Uh, please listen to my podcast. Actually, again, I, I said this the other day and it's exciting. I am for Stassi J Unplugged is the fifth best uh, podcast in Australia for leisure gaming. I uh, thank you guys for listening. I love this. And this is why I love this community so much. We, I can be sitting in my house in Canada and anyone in the world can listen to these. And that's why I created this. So we can all sit and geek about the same thing because talking about the Sims is like the best part of my day. It um, is. If you want to follow me along on my journey, I have an Instagram page called Stassi J. Uh, Sims 4. I post lots of things there. I have a, a story account called Rose Chronicles. Please go follow that. Um, and I have a YouTube channel called Stassi J where I post these videos. And I hope, you know, I was gonna say, I hope you know where to find these as I'm plugging this for that. Um, but no, I want to say again, ladies, thank you so much for coming today. I really do appreciate you. And this is going to be the last round table for season one. So I'm glad we ended it on a bang. Yay, you're welcome. Well, you got you ladies have a great rest of your day, okay? Love you. Love Bye -bye. you guys. Bye.